guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, instead of doing a plan with me uh, with all my stickers, because I've done a few of those over the past couple weeks, I wanted to um, show you exactly how I plan because a lot of people ask me that question. Um, and I have a blog post going up on my new blog, which I will link in the description. Um, about how I use Google Calendar and my Happy Planner in conjunction to um, make my life a lot easier. <laughs> um, when I first got started with my Happy Planner, when I first got into this, um, a lot of people close to me would ask me like, but you use Google Calendar, why do you need a paper planner? Like, isn't that just redundant? You're putting stuff in your Google Calendar and then you're putting stuff in your paper planner. So I wanna go over um, exactly what my process is like. Transition. Okay. So, you'll see here, I have my Google Calendar app on my phone. And I update this pretty much daily, um, throughout the work week anyway. And it's something that I would be lost without. I've been using Google Calendar for, God, geez, I can't even tell you. Like, probably 10 years or so now. Um, I used it when I was in college and I use it um, in my full-time job. I use it for keeping track of my bills, which I would be lost without it. So what I like to do personally, what works for me is I update my Google Calendar. So let's say I get an email and it says, hey, can you meet tomorrow at 2 p.m.? I will put that, I will go into my Google Calendar and usually in the email you could just click it and it'll say, do you want to add this to your calendar? And I'll add it in here. And so once it's in my Google Calendar, um, and I always have like alerts on, like notifications. So if I want a notification that my Wells Fargo bill is due, um, that will pop up that day. That's just how I have it set up. And so what I do, typically on a Sunday, sometimes I'll do it earlier, just kind of depends. Um, sometimes I'll do it on a Thursday or a Friday of the... Um, of the previous week for the upcoming week, I will sit down, you know, obviously do my planner layout and then I'll sit down and I will just sit here with my phone, my Google calendar open. And so we'll look for, you know, we're looking at Monday, May 25th through Sunday, May 31st. It's almost June already. That's crazy. And all I'll do is just go into my Google calendar and just kind of open it up and start looking through what I need to keep track of, what I need to write down. The bills I'm not gonna put um, in here because what I do, again, this is just me, I pay all my bills on payday. So that was last week. And so since everything's paid, I'm not gonna go in here and write that my rent is due or that this credit card is due because I've already paid it. And it just seems pointless, you know? Um, and so what I went here, you know, obviously it was Memorial Day. Um, and so I just put a sticker in for that so I don't have to actually write anything. I had a day off work, which I'm thankful for, and put a little day off sticker. Um, and then for Monday, I don't have anything else. So Monday's good. Tuesday, I have a staff meeting at 2.30 p.m. So I'm going to write 2... 30. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? should have done this before. I'm going to flat plan because it's just a lot easier. And that, my friends, is why the Happy Planner is my favorite. Because I can remove the pages, set the actual planner off to the side, and it doesn't get in my way. 2.30. Yeah, that's better. PM. And obviously, thankfully... <laughs> I am still working from home, which I'm grateful for. And it is Zoom. So, I got that down. Now, I have this in my monthly, but I'm going to write it again. Dit. That's my cat. Dit. Do for rabies that vaccination. That's not a word I write much. Hopefully I spell that right. 
And so I called the vet last week. I had it on my to-do list and they were closed. I left them a message. So I'm going to follow up tomorrow. So I'm going to write call Avenue Vet Clinic. All right. Wednesday, nothing. Thursday, nothing. Uh, Friday, I have a timesheet due, so I'm going to write timesheet due, fill out, and submit to HR. And Friday, I have my first appointment in like literally months. I'm super excited. I have a hair appointment. Hair appointment. May 29th at 2.30. 2.30 p.m. And that is at putting on the Ritz Milton. All right. And Saturday and Sunday we have nothing. So not sure what we're doing next weekend. Probably just staying here and chilling. I may venture out and like go shopping because places are opening up. I'm just not sure I'm comfortable with that yet. So yeah. All right. And so over here in the important box, I put any to do's. This usually kind of happens like throughout the week they come up. I don't really plan for them, but there are sometimes certain things like if I know I need to, um, you know, make an appointment for something. I do need to um, transfer my prescription because I didn't do it last week, even though I said I was going to. Um, so I'm just going to write refill prescription at Walgreens Milford okay and I'm not sure what I'm going to use this box for yet it was just really cute um I think I might journal in this box throughout the week um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. It's, it usually just kind of evolves throughout the week, depending on what happens. Um, could even put like pictures here. I mean, it's really, you know, um, I put, I use these stickers from the, this is obviously all from the Brights book. Um, but I use these stickers to go tidy up, which I did a little bit, but I mean, I guess that counts. <laughs> Be creative, which I'm doing right now, right? Exercise, I did not do. Uh, I was going to do my yoga, and I didn't do it. So I will, um, yeah, I might do it tonight. Why not? I'll do it tonight. <clears throat> and I put journal here on Wednesday just to, like, kind of remind me to journal. I haven't journaled in weeks. I love journaling. I always speak so highly of journaling. I don't know why I, like, forget to do it. So I'm going to journal on Wednesday. I put gratitude on Thursday to remind myself to um, write down things that I'm thankful for, which I could write over here. I could write in that box. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, Saturday I put unplug, which I don't really need to remind myself to unplug. It's something I do on the weekend. Try to do as much as possible. Um, I like to leave my phone like in the other room. I know I probably annoys people who are trying to get up with me, but it's just good for my mental health to not be always available on my phone. Like during the work week, I'm sitting at a computer all day. I'm interacting with a lot of people, you know, um, I'm in contact with a lot of people who need things for me and that's great. It's just, it's healthy to unplug for a while and just, um, just kind of relax and take a breather. So I try to do that, um, on either Saturday or Sunday each week. And then Sunday, I just put me time. Um, 
yeah, just me time. <laughs> because why not? And so that's pretty much all I've got going on for this week. But I just wanted to show you um, my process, kind of explain. And I'll explain also in the um, blog post if you would like to read that. How I use um, Google Calendar in conjunction with my planner and kind of the history of where I started with using just an electronic calendar and how just using that wasn't working for me and I needed something else and this was the perfect thing. Um, I know this has been said a million times, but I'm, I'll say it again. You know that, you know, scientifically it has been proven that you remember things better when you physically write them down on a piece of paper rather than, you know, typing on your phone. Um, and for me, it's just, it's therapeutic. I love writing. I love like using pens. And, um, so this is good for me. It helps me to remember things. There are things that I still forget <laughs> because I'm human and I forget things, but I try to, um, write down as much as possible the things I know I need to get done. And that usually, um, helps me to remember to actually do them. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you use an electronic calendar um, as well as a paper planner or if you're just a paper planner person. For me, I've tried to use just one or the other and it just doesn't work. It, it just doesn't work, particularly when life is normal and there is a lot more like events and things going on for work. Um, I just I couldn't live without this. I couldn't live without the Google Calendar either, but I, it can't be one or the other. It has to be both for me personally. That's just how my brain works. And I know some people are totally okay with just having a paper planner. Um, and some people are okay with just having an electronic planner. But it's cool how we all have different, um, you know, wants for our planners and we can make it work for us. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope that this helped you, uh, maybe inspired you. I know when I first got started with this paper planner, I, I had anxiety about it myself. I was like, okay, wait. So now I have a, an electronic calendar to keep up with and I have a paper planner to keep up with. That like I started thinking like, is this gonna be overwhelming? Is this too much? Now I have two things. But it honestly, it, it made my life so much easier. Like I just can't even tell you, it made my life so much easier to add this um, to my planning routine. And um, I just, I'd be lost without it. And I've gone a couple weeks, you know, maybe a week or two before without using the paper planner. Um, there was one time a few months back when work just got like insanely busy and I just never even pulled out my planner to use it. And I was just using the Google Calendar and I kept like forgetting stuff. And feeling like I didn't know what the heck was going on. There's been other weeks when I've done my layout. And then just like not used it. Like not, I didn't write in it. And I would just feel totally lost. Like I would come into work on a Monday morning and be like, I don't even know what's going on this week. Even though I looked at everything in my Google Calendar, I can't remember unless I write it down. So that's just me. But anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know again in the comments how you plan and how you use your planners. <laughs> uh, and some people have, you know, like six or seven planners. That's how their brain works. And that's that's great. Um, I love learning about how people use their planners. And sometimes it gives me ideas. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!